as you can see here in build mode, this aircraft is unstable. And that should mean that by all means, it should be impossible to fly in a straight line. However, in spite of this, I do not care. And it turns out that I was trying to make a fly-by-wire system wrong the entire time. So I'm calling it a fly-by-wire system, but this form of aircraft stabilization has apparently been around for quite some time, actually, and this is just me figuring out that it exists and then being immediately told that this used to be a lot more common. It just shows them how much more I still have to learn about this game. So consider this both a tutorial, a phys physics explanation, and a demonstration of this system. I also incorporated a different thing, which I don't know if it was used to be, I don't know if this is another thing that a lot of people use and I just happen to not see it, but I'll get into that. So as you can see here, this, this aircraft is very unstable, which means if you've ever tried to flown one, it's like trying to throw a dart backwards, which is to say, it's going to want to try to flip around. And if I let go of thrust, it's going to fall with the tail downwards. So how do I stabilize it? Turns out that all I needed was just speed sensors pointing up, down, left, and right. This one is only unstable along the pitch axis, which means I only need sensors pointing up, and down for this to function. So at, if you've ever flown a plane at lower speeds, not quite stalling, but there's more driftiness and floatiness, or a plane with really small wings, you'll notice how whenever you turn, it, the energy and the momentum is not redirected right away. There is a small gap in between the time when your plane orients in a direction and its energy, most of its kinetic energy and direction and velocity are also oriented in the same direction. That there's that little amount of drift. Using speed sensors set to detect zero uh, meters per second, it can detect even at very, very high speeds that small amount of drift. When your belly or the top of the, when the belly of the plane or the top of the plane is drifting to either side. And that's the basic system. Simply detect when something is at speed beginning to tilt and apply a corrective command to the pitch, basically, uh, to straighten it back out again. And it's really as simple as that. So I, the way that I did it, I had two speed sensors and I just linked them to the tail because the tail controls pitch. And that was literally it. That was all I needed to do. And that's the basic system here. You can do the same thing for yaw as well as pitch, uh, except instead connected to the according control surface. You can apply the system to gyros and plenty of other stuff as long as it's going in one direction. The system does not work well with something that can strafe or do other things, this is exclusively for plane-like vehicles. Now, I also linked in a separate system, which you should be able to, which you should have seen activating. On the plane's wings, I set it so that the, the leading edge and the trailing edge, they tilt up or down to increase or decrease lift. This helps with making tighter turns because it increases lift when making uh, turns, which allows it to make the turns in a very, very small space. It does not necessarily help with the degree turn rate. It does help with the diameter of the turn circle. And consequently, this also helps with one of the issues I found when trying to make stabilized craft using the system. Lift, because it scales with airspeed, changes the faster or the slower you go. And lift 
also changes the direction in which your aircraft flies up and down. As an example, the lift will over time pull the entire plane upwards. This can sometimes confuse the speed sensors a little bit and cause it to lightly go up or lightly, lightly pitch up or lightly pitch down. So, as I have found, using the same setup with speed sensors, uh, one with a negative output, one with a positive output, same as the ones connected to the tail, except I connected these to the wing flaps so that I can automatically ex um, activate them or deactivate them or activate them in a negative amount to always fly as level as possible. And when making sharp turns, to try to make them as sharp as possible. And that's really it. It turns out it really was that simple. And it can be used on most aircraft. And yeah, as you can see here, this is my lightly F-16 inspired version using it. It's honestly worse than the original test vehicle. But yeah, it can fly and it's going to be uploaded. So if you want to look at it, feel free to. I and I personally have the pitch stabilizer different from the lift stabilizer, but because it's just easier to logic it that way, but you can link them to the same set. It's just that you won't be able to control the strength of the inputs and outputs separately. Because for me, I find that having the pitch control speed sensors respond at 0 0.5 or negative 0 0.5, like as a strength of the output from the speed sensors, is better than just having it on max. But for lift, it's better to just have them respond as one or negative one, depending on too much or too little lift to correct that. But yeah, it, that's it. It's really that easy. I can't believe it took me so long to realize it. Yep, end of the video. Goodbye.